downtown Miami where a shooting has sent one person to the hospital. CBS 4's Amber Diaz spotted the commotion on the way to work today and she is live on the scene for us. So Amber, what did you see and what are you learning about what happened? Well, first and foremost, there's nothing like actually seeing it firsthand. It was around 1.30, like you said. I was driving to work, getting on the turnpike to 95 when I saw people literally, you guys, running for their lives. I saw one person toss his coffee. We had other people jumping over barriers. Again, you guys know how much construction is going on downtown, so people were running into each other. I saw another man toss his bike, trying to get away from a reported shooting. I actually wrote on my window, pulled over, and I asked someone what was going on. They told me there was a shooting, and that was later confirmed by police. An active scene from above in Miami early this afternoon. Police say a man was shot inside the stairwell next to the Whole Foods, a possible business transaction that went terribly wrong. Somewhere along the way, there were some shots fired. Uh, these three men ran in different directions, uh, two blocks west of the actual incident where it started. Uh, we did find a bag with some of the belongings. Police say after that man was shot, he was taken to Jackson Memorial Hospital and he is in critical condition. I was walking across the street and we were going in the same direction. An eyewitness who spoke to us in an exclusive interview tells me he came face to face with the shooter as he was walking back to work. And as I'm walking across the street, somebody came out that side door of the Whole Foods and uh, with a gun, a uh, gentleman with a shirt off with a gun pointed at uh, another uh, black male and he shot about four times and at that point as soon as I saw the gun I started running. Now while it hasn't been confirmed by police witnesses tell me this black Honda in Uber was driving by with passengers when it was hit by a bullet. As you can understand I mean one o'clock in the afternoon in downtown Miami there's hundreds of people there's a lot of traffic and again it's still a puzzle that we're putting together. Now back out here live, Miami police say they do have one person in custody, but they need your help finding another. Want to take a look at that surveillance video on your screen. You could see the subject in the video. They were last seen wearing a yellow shirt, and we're told he was involved in an earlier robbery at 299 Southeast 3rd Avenue, again here in downtown Miami. Now we just, before we went, uh, did our live shot here, we spoke to that Uber driver. He confirms he was riding in the car with at least four other people when his car got hit, and we're told there was a 16 year olds near that door reporting live in downtown Miami Amber Diaz CBS 4 News